Uh, thank you all for coming here uh, this afternoon. I'm Sheriff Joseph Pinto, Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office. I'm here with the Harahan Police Chief, Ed LaPree, the Jefferson Parish Coroner, Jerry Sutanovich, Harahan Mayor, Tim Bodier, and Jefferson Parish Councilman, Dino Bonanno. I'm uh, here to announce a very sad case in the city of Harahan, which occurred last night and this morning. Uh, earlier today, at around 7.30 a.m., uh, a father walked into the Harahan Police Department to report his child, uh, along with his 43-year-old girlfriend, missing. Uh, when he woke up this morning, uh, the six-year-old and the 43-year-old were not in the house, although uh, an older child was still in the house there. Uh, reported it to the Harriham Police Department. They started investigating it as a missing person. Uh, they went to the house, um, started doing canvases in that neighborhood. Uh, the mother of the, the biological mother of the uh, child lives approximately one block away around the corner. Uh, so the investigation led to go to that location. Uh, upon arriving at that location, they located a, best to be able to describe it, maybe a 10-gallon bucket. Um, it's a chlorine bucket, large, you know, a little, little larger than a five-gallon bucket on the front lawn of the mother's house. Uh, when they opened up that bucket, they found the 60-year-old deceased inside that bucket. Um, turned into a homicide investigation, obviously, at that point, uh, homicide detectives from Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office were called out to the scene. Uh, we utilized uh, not only our resources with the Sheriff's Office, we also used the Major Crimes Task Force uh, to come out and try to start canvassing the neighborhood, uh, which our attention was drawn very quickly to the missing girlfriend who is now um, missing in action, right? We could not necessarily find her. Uh, we were able to find numerous video uh, of, from different households in the neighboring area which showed uh, her pulling a wagon down uh, late last night uh, with the bucket inside the back of that wagon. Um, ended up um, performing a, an autopsy today on the child and we can classify the child's death as a homicide at this point in time. Uh, we ended up doing extensive interviews with both the mother and the father, uh, the biological mother and the father. We do not believe uh, that they are involved in the, uh, any foul play involved with the death of uh, Miss Bella Fontenot, who is the six-year-old that is deceased. Uh, th those interviews also continue to lead us in our investigation uh, looking for uh, the suspect in this case, uh, which I have three different names, uh, Hannah Landon, which is an American name. She is uh, described as an Asian female. Hannah Landon, H-A-N-N-A-H, -N -N -A -H, last name Landon, L-A-N-D-O-N, -N, uh, also known as Bunak Lim, B-U-N-N-A-K, last name L-I-M, or Bunak Landon, 43-year-old Asian female. Uh, as we were doing our best in order to locate her around 2 o'clock this afternoon, uh, we were notified uh, that she was possibly at one of our local hospitals. Uh, we were able to locate her at one of the local hospitals. She is now in JPSO custody, uh, where she'll uh, hopefully later be booked uh, with at least one count of first-degree murder and obstruction of justice. Uh, we've got a lot of different evidence with a lot of different scenes here, um, you know, that we'll, we'll continue to work through. But, of course, we have an arrest, and we have, a, more tragically, the, the death of the, the six-year-old, which is going to be a, a big shock to the small community of Harahan. Uh, with that, I'll, I'll turn it over to uh, Chief LaPree for any questions, and I'll, I'll take some questions after the show. Thank you, Sheriff. My name is Ed LaPree. I'm the Harriam Police Chief. Uh, this morning, I was out of town at a uh, conference, an FBI uh, conference down in Orlando. I got a call from my staff uh, in reference to a, a missing child. Uh, immediately, uh, after learning more information, I reached out to the sheriff and the other chiefs that were with me uh, at the conference all offered to help. The sheriff and his staff, I can't thank them enough for coming in and working with our guys. Our guys responded, they were doing the right things, we just needed a little extra help and I appreciate the sheriff uh, for coming in and offering the assistance to develop this case. Uh, they were keeping me abreast uh, on the hour. Um, they got me an earlier flight, I just got back in from, uh, from out of town, but uh, I appreciate uh, everything. The city of Harahan is still safe. It is a safe city. There's no threat to the public right now. Uh, there is an arrest. There is a case being worked. Uh, the sheriff, as we get more information and if it's necessary to report, we will. But uh, at this time, I appreciate all the outside agencies that came in, gave assistance to us. We're a small town. Uh, we're a safe town. And I just want the citizens to know that my heart and my prayers go out to the family of this child. This is a senseless type incident that happened, but I can assure you that uh, the Harriman Police Department and the Sheriff's Office are there for the family. And uh, we keep them in our prayers, and I thank you.
Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Jerry Satanovich, Jefferson Parish Coroner. Uh, I want to start off by uh, saying thank you to the uh, everybody involved in this case, from the 911 dispatchers to EMS to law enforcement, and last but not least, the people in my office. Cases like this are hard. You know, we're parents, brothers, sisters, so it's very difficult and it affects everybody. So thanks all to all of them, and they're very much appreciated for what they do. Um, the young lady, the decedent, is Bella Fontenelle, that's B-E-L-L-A. Last name is F-O-N-T-E-N-E-L-L-E, -E -E, six-year-old female. Uh, the manner of death is homicide. She has multiple injuries, and I'm not going to get into details regarding the injuries because this is a, still a fluid investigation with a lot of um, interviews that have yet to happen. So uh, those details will come out. We're not you know, hiding them. Um, uh, you know, we, we're just delaying the release of those. Thank you very much.